Hello everybody, this is Alex with GuitarForce.com. As you can see today, we're going to take a look at Walking by Myself by Gary Moore. Uh, this is going to be a lesson on the rhythm parts only, but I'm going to make a separate video uh, lesson on the solo, so if you're interested, check that out. I'm going to post uh, the links in the description box below and also on the screen. Um, also, you can check out the cover playthrough of this song, all of the parts, how they put together. I'm going to post uh, the uh, link as well in the description box below uh, and on the screen. Now the uh, tabs and the backing track for this song, for this lesson, going to be available at guitarforce.com for free. Uh, also, please consider supporting the channel. Check out the store section of the site where I have other uh, video lessons as well. Um, now, this song is in standard tuning, so no need to change anything. Uh, again, I was using the uh, VST plugin guitar rig uh, for the sound. And as usual, I'm going to post the picture on the screen for you to see uh, all of the, um, the uh, preset and all of the uh, details, so the parameters of the amps. And while you're checking out the uh, picture, here's my low E for your tuning reference. Alright, so without further ado, let's take a listen to the opening part of the song, then we'll come back, close up and break it down. Let's start the lesson. Alright, so the intro riff, which is also the verse riff, go like this. Now, this is the main figure of uh, the verses. What we do here, we play first four notes being B, D, B, D. Uh, there are a couple of ways how you can play them. Uh, I tend to play uh, using two strings. So I start off with uh, the seventh fret of the low E. And then we play fifth fret of the A. And we play this for two times. And then we play the E power chord at the seventh position and we slide out. Uh, the second uh, way how you can play these four notes, instead of playing on them on the two strings, you can play them on one string. So it would be on the low E going between 7, 10, 7, 10. Same notes, but played on the first, on the low E string. Um, you know, whichever way is more comfortable to you, use that. I tend to use between two strings because it gives me then, um, you know, easier access to the E power chord and slide out. Like that. Uh, now, during the um, intro, he plays this for two times, then he goes into verse and he plays it for three times. Uh, and in the end, there is another line that he does which goes like this. Now here, what we do, we play on the A string 2 open and on the low E 3 open. Okay, again, you can play all of these notes on one string and that would be on the low E going 7, 5, 3 open. Just keep that shuffle rhythm uh, right and you're going to be okay. Uh, after that, we play E7 sharp 9 chord twice. Okay, looking like this. Uh, and then in the end we play a B7 chord, looking like this. And we play two triplets. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay? Um, so this is the main figure for the verses. Um, there are a couple of fills that Gary is playing in the beginning. The first one going like this. Now this volume swell and um, um, playing the uh, double stop is performed like that. Uh, what you want to do, you want to get this uh, double stop which is on the G and the B strings at the 9th fret. So you want to get this sound, but 
what he does is he bends the uh, G string at the 8th fret, half step, so we want to get this note. Okay, and at the same time holding the 9th um, uh, uh, fret of the B string. So we have this. Another trick that he does is um, he rolls the uh, volume knob all the way down so it's off. Uh, then he picks the double stop and brings up the volume. Uh, and in the very end he brings down the bend and slide out, uh, slides out uh, both of the strings. Okay, So we have this. Okay. So one more time. So this is the first fill in the beginning. The second fill that he does after the solo is um, kind of similar idea using the volume knob, but uh, instead of playing uh, the double stop, he plays a trill on the G string between seventh and ninth fret. Okay, so again he would roll uh, the uh, volume knob all the way down. So switches off the volume, starts trilling, and brings the volume up. Okay, so it would be like this. Okay, so this is the second fill that he does. Now, uh, in the end of uh, the verse, uh, the first one, like I said, he's playing this, the uh, B7 chord using two. Um, two triplets. Uh, for the second verse he doesn't play that, uh, so he would play the E7 sharp 9 again. And then for the second verse he would play just a scratch with the pick on the strings. All right? He would, he would uh, do the uh, scratching and then go right into the chorus. Alright, so um, these are two alternate uh, endings that he does during the uh, verses. Um, and um, after that we go into choruses and they sound like this. Alright, so for the choruses what we have is a typical blues progression in E. Uh, so it starts off like this. Okay, this is a typical blues rhythmical figure. Uh, what we do here, we play an E power chord. So low E open, uh, second fret of the A which is the fifth interval. And then we alternate that with the C sharp on the A string fourth fret with a low E open again and this is the sixth interval. Alright, so each of the intervals um, gets uh, two picks so we pick it twice and uh, keep in mind that uh, the rhythm is uh, in shuffle so we have one longer note, one shorter note. All right. Alright, so this is the feel of uh, uh, the riff also, uh, Gary sometimes was using the seventh interval, especially when he was playing lives, uh, so it would be something like this. Okay, so as you can see, uh, sometimes he would go into this fifth fret of the A string and go back down to the sixth interval. Okay, so this is the main part of the riff. Also, he would uh, uh, include the open strings uh, to this riff, to this riff, and uh, it would go something like this. So what we do here, 
when we play uh, this rhythmical figure, uh, these open strings, which are high E and B, also you can include the G on the first fret because it's a part of the chord, of the E chord. Okay, but uh, it uh, just goes by so fast that uh, if you play only the top two strings, it's going to be okay. So, rhythmically, it would be like this. These open strings are fall on the uh, this short note on the off beat. So, he would start with the low part of the E chord and then pick the high strings. Okay? Um, also, after the progression goes on and on, when he's playing the sixth interval, again he would pick it once and then the, uh, the uh, top strings uh, pick it with an upstroke. Okay, so this is the first variation and uh, the second variation when you include the seventh interval would be like this. Alright, so this is not too complicated, just a matter of getting the rhythm uh, inside, inside of you, you know, getting used to that. Um, go and shuffle on the low strings and then pick up pick um, the uh, higher strings with an upstroke, okay? So these are the two variations. Uh, now, when going to, when the progression goes to A chord, uh, there is this chromatic build-up which goes like that. Uh, now what we do here, we play the E chord once, right? And then we, we alternate it with an open E, just a low E string, so it would be and then we go, the frets are going to be 2nd, 3rd and 4th, and we alternate each of the, um, these notes with an open low E, okay? So it would be... Also, when playing this uh, rhythm figure, we use palm mute here, okay? And when going into these 2nd, uh, 3rd and 4th frets, uh, we can open up so we have more sound. Alright, so all together um, the rhythmical figure would be like this. Okay, so when we go into the A, we play exactly the same thing rhythmically. So we alternate the power chord with the sixth interval, so each of the intervals gets two, um, two hits. Okay, then we move to B, same idea. Again, you can um, use another variation instead of playing here. You can use open strings, so A open. Okay, and go in between the the second fret and fourth fret on the D string. But for the B, again, you can use it here, but you're gonna have to stretch a little bit more right here in this position. Okay? And then we have a sort of ending which goes like this. Alright, so here what we play is a uh, triplet on the open low E string, so three times, and then the frets are going to be third, fifth, sixth, and seventh. And again, we alter alter them with an open low E string. Also, when playing these notes on the third, fifth, sixth, and seventh uh, frets you can add a little bit of uh, bending to, cre to add this uh, typical blues rhythm, okay? Now the last two notes are going to be on the A string 5th fret, back to the 7 on the low E, alright? So one more time. Alright, so this is the ending that he does. Uh, in the first chorus, 
he plays this, the uh, progression second time and uh, instead of playing this ending he plays a fill which goes like this so we have in A so this fill we play uh, first low E open then pick the high E open then we play a pull off which is going to be on the third fret to open pick the high E one more time and then we have which is going to be on the G string going to open onto the sec second fret of the D string and repeat one more time okay and then the last part of the lick is going to be G open second fret of the D and the second fret of the A string twice all right so one more time the whole lick slowly okay so this is the um, um, the verses that um, Gary's playing now the first uh, verse he's playing it twice so we have two uh, progressions two um, blues progressions in E. A second time before the solo he does it only once, so after the uh, the ending he goes into solo. Uh, also just a little detail here, when playing uh, the ending um, sometimes instead of playing the triplet he just plays the straight you know shuffle riff. Uh, so the E string, uh, the first note is going to be like this. All right, instead of the triplet. Okay, so these are the endings. Now, um, for the last time when he plays the chorus, the third time, um, the second variation that he does, instead of playing this rhythm, he plays the whole chord and it would be like this. Okay, so what we do here, we just kind of break down the chord into uh, the uh, low part and uh, low part and up part uh, using the uh, higher strings. So he would play the the E power chord, then catch the higher strings, then one more time. Okay, so this is the main part, and then he does this little trick. So he would play a double stop which is on the 2nd fret of the D and a G string and then he would hammer on, we have two grace notes which are going to be open strings, the D and the G and he would uh, hammer on very quickly on the 1st fret of the G, 2nd fret of uh, the D, okay? That kind of thing. And then catch the low E string again. So I'm just going to play it kind of slower so you can get into the the groove of uh, of the uh, of the chorus so it goes like this okay and uh, we go into the ending afterwards which is uh, basically playing between A and B again using this blues rhythm and we play it for three times, so we switch between A, B, A, B, A, and then we have a stop on the B, and then we have a rest, and uh, the last lick, which goes like this. Okay, so for the lick, what we do, we play the uh, G and B strings open, and then we go... Um, it's, this is a uh, E minor pentatonic scale which goes on the high E 15 to 12 then we do the same on B then we have 
So here we have a grace note going from 15th fret of, on the G string into the 14. Well, we um, we're holding on to this note for a while. Then we pull off to 12, hammer on onto the 14 again, and then we play on the B12, G12, and 14 on the D. Okay, so one more time. So after that 14th fret we slide out and we play two chords which are F9 to E9. All right, typical blues ending. And then in the end we have 22nd fret of the high E string. Give it a good, good vibrato and then we finish off the song with uh, the uh, E7 sharp 9 chord. And we slide out. And that's it for the whole song. Alright guys, so this brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please hit that thumbs up button. Comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to visit Guitar Force for more guitar related stuff. And uh, till next time, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.